Hi, this is Narmada, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, KSA College of Arts and Science for Women, Kitchenko. Now we are going to see about Python Programming Unit 3. The first topic is Python Functions. Functions is a block of statements that return the specific task. The idea is to put some commonly or repeatedly done tasks together and make a function so that instead of writing the same code again and again for different inputs, we can do the function calls to reuse code, contain it and over and over the again. The Python function declaration, def function name and parameters. So under that if statements, I mean under that the statements and the return expressions. Then type of functions in Python, built-in library functions, user-defined functions. So creating a function in Python and calling a functions in Python, okay. So the built-in functions are nothing but the standard functions which are already available to use. The user-defined functions mean we can create our own functions based on our requirements. Python functions with parameters. So defining and calling a function with parameters. So define DAF function name, parameter, data type and return type. Types of function arguments. The, the It has four types of function arguments. Default arguments, keyword arguments, positional arguments, arbitrary arguments. Python function within function. A function that is defined inside another function is known as inner function or nested function. Nested functions are all able to access variables of the enclosing scope. Inner functions are used so that they can be protected from everything happening outside the function. Return function in Python function. The return function statement is used to exit from a function and go back to the function caller and return the specified value or data item into the caller. So the syntax for the return statement is return expression list. Then pass by reference and pass by value. One important thing to note is Python, every variable name is reference. When we pass a variable to a function, a new reference to the object is created. Then keyword argument in Python. So keywords as arguments, passing keywords as arguments. The keyword arguments are values that when passed into a function are identifiable by specific parameter names. A keyword argument is preceded by a parameter and the assignment operator equal to symbol. A keyword arguments can be likened to dictionaries in that they map a value to a keyboard. The default arguments in a Python. Python has a different way of representing syntax and default values for function arguments. Default values indicates that the function argument will take that value if no argument value is passed during the function call. The default value is assigned by using the assignment operator of the form keyword name equal to value. There should be only one value for one parameter. Then the order of argument is very important. The past keyword name should match with the actual keyword name. So in case of calling function containing non-keyword arguments, the order is important. Then variable scope, recursion and recursion function. Recursion is the process of defining something in terms of itself. So, the, uh, any object in between them would be affected recursively. Then advantages of recursion and disadvantages of recursions are, recursive functions make the code look clean and elegant. A complex task can be broken in, down into simpler sub-problems using recursion. Sequence generation is easier with rec recursion than using some nested iteration. The disadvantages are sometimes the logic behind recursion is hard to follow through. Recursive calls are expensive as they take up a lot of memory time. Recursive functions are hard to debug. Thank you.